Hi, I'm Eric Dirks. I'm representing Flair here at the Rolex Kentucky 3-Day. Love the product Flair. Helps my horse run the inside just as much as the outside. My horse always pulls up a lot easier with Flair. Alright, if everybody can hold up. The importance of this, this is the first square oxer. Horses with their perception, they only see the front rail. So you got to ride the back rail so they cover the width. The key to this jump is being too excited about, I'm at Rolex, I'm at Rolex. You run just the way I'm doing, which is stupid. You got to be over here so that the galloping track's there. He sees green grass slightly gone downhill. He can see the back rail. You can get the width because if you get the width here, the other widths won't seem so bad. All right. Yeah, I totally agree. And I'm also thinking about the track as far as the time goes too. There's, there's a middle track, an inside track, an outside track. If you head up this track on the inside, you're stuck with the distance that you get. When you come out a little further, you're still figuring out your horse coming, starting out on course, you have some options, right, Ralph? Right. You keep looking at, for, at the fence, well, you feel and, like you got options and, and you go on your future track. And remember here, because I learned this, I did it unconsciously, but I learned it in Florida, if you stand where we're standing and look down, that's a long upgrade, slow. So that means their stride is different early in the course than if it was just flat like the first jump. All right, so you got to all of a sudden, even when you're walking, of course, look behind and see whether all the distance was downhill, uphill, or flat, okay?